Hello, I'm Nafanik. I'm going for a short holiday to Arklo. And the idea was that I would, wouldn't would know what to do, that I would go with a fresh mind just to explore. But the thing is that it's going to rain and really heavily too. So I will be arriving to this, uh, uh, to this train station half 11 or so. And I will be able to check in into my hotel only at 3. So I need to kill some time and not to get too wet. So I'm going to explore and plan what I'm going to do first three and a half hours upon my arrival to stay relatively dry. So I'm at the train station and there is not many people in my direction and I hope that it will stay this way. I arrived to Arglo and it's raining. Well, I knew that it would be raining, but I still hope that it wouldn't. Uh, there is something very magical about arriving to an unknown place because I arrived, that is the train station. This is my first time seeing it and I have no idea where I should be going. This is so fun, even though it's raining so fun. The footpath is closed and I think that way around it is going through the church ground. So I'm moving to my next church and uh, but I thought that it was just lovely and this is the church that I'm going to. I found the river walk that I will be taking tomorrow and a lovely view. This is the river walk. And well, this is the church and I think the entrance is from the other side. Like, why would you lock the church? I just don't get it. Why would you lock up a church? Like, it's pretty, but not accessible. Alright, I'm actually taking the river walk partially because this is the way I decided to go to the cafe that I wanted to go and there's a message empires fall tyrants perish we will rise again and I just as always I just would want to know the context so this is the path that will hopefully bring me to the cafe that I've chosen for myself It stopped raining and I see the river so this is not the actual real walk this is the way the path to the real walk and that is the real walk this is the actual real walk and the birds are killing it today I mean 
mean, I don't have to wait for tomorrow for this walk to be lovely. It's literally lovely as it is right now. So I'm going to walk it a little bit. I think that on the other side is uh, Arklow Marsh, Arklow Marshes National Reserve. And I don't think that it's open for public, at least like on Google Maps, temporarily closed. But I can hope. Arklo Dwinian Association was founded by a charter with the Chateau Dune in France in 1983. Over the years, the association has forged links with our twin town. Lifelong friendships have been formed. Isn't it adorable? And look at all this kind of all of Tawini nice, I guess. The different... I don't know how this was made. Was it first on paper or was it on the plates right away? But isn't it adorable? It's absolutely awesome. And it's so long. Like you can spend maybe not hours but an hour definitely just looking at all, all these pictures look at this adorable character he's not pretty so i have two cafes in mind and i don't know which one i will choose so let's just go and see what each of them has to offer look at this citizen of, si of science beware dragonfly these pretty things, bad area. I love this. Another cute, gorgeous, pretty thing. Pretty, pretty. This is the cafe number one, and there were some swans across it. to hold this pigment I have no idea and uh, this is the second cafe and it's closed so I have no choice really I will have to go to the first one they ordered me some food hopefully delicious so I'm ready now and I'm outside I decided that I wanted to be outside despite loads of cars here the coffee is pretty destination is Bridgewater. There is a museum that I want to visit. This hotel is really really pretty but I will be living in another one. Pretty! Am I too easy to, to impress or is this really pretty? Look at these trees and those little pieces of land. This man is running somewhere. Who is he and where is he running to? Ronnie Delaney, Gold Medal winner, Melbourne. Maritime Museum. And this is the entrance. Let's go in. This is pretty right from the start. something Vikings okay let's go I'm not even inside yet Thank you. 
And like, this is not the main street, at least I don't think this is, but this street is more, uh, it's more pleasant to walk than the main street. But then, kind of, main street right now is under construction, so maybe that's the reason too. But it's lovely, it's a lovely town. There is a little fork. And the sign says Arklo Bay Hotel to the right. So this is where I'm going to go. I don't know, I really enjoy this town. Like it's small, but also it's it was very prosperous some time ago. So you kind of still can feel it. I arrived. And where I should be going? I should be going straight. I don't know why I should be going <laughs> But I just... Like, that's the Bay Health and Leisure Club So that might be the sport facilities So the, the reception should be here somewhere Found it Well, I spent one hour and a half in a museum And now I know that the Arkelo Bay Hotel used to be a hospital for a Kynox factory that produced ammunition this place is really nice I think I will take a walk around and see what we have here okay I'm out and about again so let's see what we have here we have some kind of I guess when it's a little bit warmer you can have a kind of party here should be nice and then there is a nature walk I suppose really nice really fresh I mean I like it now but I think that in summer it would be just absolutely even more gorgeous than now there is puppy park how do I get to the puppy park? I mean, I don't have a dog but if there are dogs I would really love to watch them I mean, it's not creepy if it's a dog, right? there is a small fairy garden so there are fairies and they live in the 
houses like this there is more on the way i love to think that a fairy lost this mission because it looks a little bit like fairy there is another fairy house and this fairy house is is kind of a little bit hidden i love that you can that you actually have to go through this bushes to get to it hey i think i found the puppy park but i don't think that there are any puppies there so this is the puppy park there is noise i think there is something happening in the port well this is the puppy park that apparently only one dog at a time can be here and there is no one unfortunately well there are people with a dog but i don't think that they will be entering here i can hear the sea and i wonder how it will look from this point because i know that there is a port over there Another piece of art. This town is full of unexpected pieces of art in unexpected places. This is the Carbon Park. Really nice. Like this is a um, place for holidays when you don't want to live in a hotel or you don't want to rent a room or something where right? you can just uh, book a retail and just live there. Not retail. Trail. <laughs> <laughs> I just live there. It's really nice. I love it. It's like a camp, but not really. I think it's very populous and lively during summer. I have the feeling that this is lighthouse. Then this is sea. This is the light of the lighthouse. Oops, so bright. Didn't expect it. <laughs> and this is, I don't know, the universe. The Milky Way. <laughs> love it. I mean, I could be wrong, and I'm probably wrong, but love it. Anyway. So I just passed by some keys, and they're a little bit further away. Geese with babies. I didn't want to record the video on my way because like, sometimes they can be pretty aggressive I didn't want to run with my camera on but they didn't attack so that's fine I have no idea if I'm going in the right direction or not um, there is another piece of art like really how the stone is so small and there are so many pieces of art in unexpected places I don't know, fun things to take the bath with. I want maybe bubbles or maybe some oils. I don't know. But I want it and I want to buy it. But I don't know if I'm going in the right direction to a shop. I hope that I will arrive at some point somewhere. I mean, there is some kind of art. Depends how you look at it. This is the old Gaelic language, written how it was written back then. But the kind of it can look like it if you want to look at it as an art. You cannot close the ocean just by staring at the sea. 
yet another piece of art then that can actually be a piece of something historical okay at this point I'm just walking around without any goal and this is good finally I don't have any <laughs> goal I love that kind of walks and I found something interesting I think it's a it's a church maybe not but it looks interesting it's national learning network it's not a church it does have a window that looks churchy to me I mean this is a beautiful building I just was walking and thinking how pretty this building is who lives here and then I found out that this is actually a school Ferry Bank National School established 1892 I love red in buildings this is a small really really small dispensary garden this is literally it but it does have some pretty flowers and if I find them on this board maybe I will learn what that flower is but I don't see this flower so I don't know what that is but it's pretty I bought me a bath bomb uh, coconut oil and a patchouli oil and I'm going to take a bath today while reading this amazing book Stephen Hawking brief answers to the big questions never expected to find a book like this and I'm happy that I found it it's rather ironic about the rain because it was supposed to rain on yesterday and it was supposed to be dry today but it rained for a short while yesterday and it's going to rain all day today and well if you know me then you know that me getting lost um, is the vacation done right especially if it's raining in her sarcasm I genuinely love getting lost especially when it's raining because I don't know it just adds some extra adventure literally the whole town is under construction roads buildings I am in some in some kind of very industrial place and I have no idea where I should be going I know that I should be going south because my destination was the south beach and well I don't know what I'm doing because well, there is no beach no 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 I'm getting there I just need to walk around this water towards that great building I think I can love this stuff because otherwise if I wouldn't get lost I wouldn't have seen this place and I love this kind of stuff this would have been so pretty if it wasn't so dirty <laughs> like actual ship repairs Um, if it, no, it doesn't look like building. It, it is repairs. It is fun. Well, at least it's fun for me. And a bug hotel. I wonder if there are any bugs actually living there because it doesn't look very welcoming, even to bugs. I found a the Sea Paris Memorial Garden. And it looks pretty nice. But I suppose it's a little bit sad because I think that that means those people who died when they were in the sea. But still. Oh, 
Look at this little touch. I love it. And that to the how this is called. Oh, I can't remember the name of this thing, but well, there it is. A donut. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. It is so pretty. This is so cool. Like really, this town is full of unexpected art in unexpected places. Like, would you expect to, to find a garden like this in a very heavily industrial zone? I don't know. Just find it cool. Love this town. It's it's special. Oh, this is really good. Really cool. I love the face too. Really well done. Are there any stairs that I'm not? I don't think that I can climb it. But anyway, this is cool. Gosh, I don't know. In my opinion, this is nice. But I know that a lot of people would disagree. But but there is actually a boatyard. I think it's a cafe. When probably a little bit more dry, drier than right now. It's very nice too. So I'm not the only one if there is a cafe in a place like this. I also found a lifeboat station. And yet again another piece of art and this place it actually was an art club pottery which is very sad very very sad because the pottery that had been made in this place like if you look a little bit earlier in my blog you will see the examples of pottery in, in the museum and it's quite unique and it's very much to my taste very very uh, I don't know um, colorful and very contrasting in colors <laughs> I actually went one way but this is a good thing because otherwise I wouldn't have seen this Arklo pottery and this is like it's not really historical in a sense but it's not that old but um, it was very important and still is, I think, for this town, for these people. Yay, I found it, I found it. Welcome to Arklo South Beach. So I'm walking in the right direction right now, which is good. Broadstone Provinces, Arklo Quarry. So this is something that is interesting here and I want to take a picture of it, if possible at all, because it's like you cannot see too far away so i'm not sure how well it will work out this is nice a little board about people who made this area possible and who clean the soul up once in a while all right so this is the beach that is the quarry i'm not sure if it's visible on the camera right now but there it is and there's actually um kind of it's not a nature walk it's just a walk for people so i um, think that i want to go there and then there is a little boat in the sea no people around if it was gray stones or gray there would be people around swimming in the sea so our glow is not i mean the sea is different here than in gray or gray stones it's a little bit rougher but and then there is a little i love this kind of pathways so i'm going to walk it just for the sake of walking it what did i tell you about art glow and art again an expert art in an unexpected place i mean it's really unexpected because this is a pier and that is a musician what do they have in common I don't know. There are people in cars who cannot handle a little bit of rain. And this is the live art. Look at these two seagulls or whatever they are. 
And, and this is the stone way or rock way or something like that connected to with the stone because this is like you can see actually there are trucks and excavators that work in the quarry so this is very close to it and I hope like I don't know how close I will be able to get to there but I know that that thin piece of land I would be able to access that if I will walk this path so let's go I'm confused it's ended so fast so I don't know I thought that it would continue and continue continue maybe maybe it is possible to walk there well, I will try anyway so yeah the path has ended and I don't really know what I should be doing like I don't want to walk this road because there is a lot of um, trucks would be going here so I don't want to do that I thought that it would continue walking uh, all this way along the coast but I guess it, it, it doesn't so I don't know what I should be doing should I just go back okay. what else and well, I'm walking back and I'm thinking that maybe this is the reason why there are so many construction projects in this town because there is actually a quarry here, so there is a I suppose, a substantial amount of supply of rocks and everything else that, that construction needs. These people in cars, they're so funny, they arrive they just stay in their cars and then they leave they are too scared to come out because it's raining but I must be looking for them weird too because like this is lonely little red figure in a completely wet raincoat I know that it's wet like I know that it's uh, that the rain came through so like, there is no denying it but well we have to do what we have to do. So I went down a little, a small narrow alley just to see what's here and I'm not disappointed. One, two, three, four. It's not a shed, it's a summer house. Love it. And another small alley. I love alleys like this. They're very narrow. Like, I'm not sure that I would have wanted to live here, but like I mean, this is not livable. So I don't know. I suppose other people, other people are not very keen on living here either. But it's nice. I don't know. I love it. I will be honest. I came back to the hotel completely, absolutely wet, and I mean it. I don't mind walking in the rain, but everything has its limits, so I found my limit, but it stopped raining at least for a while, so I'm out and about again, but life is getting better because I booked me a stone message, which is going to be first time me having it. Great. And this is kind of heritage trail and yesterday I walked the other way and today I'm walking this way and look fairy houses fairies live there and I'm not sure if there is any interest in here but I just I don't want to stay in the hotel during my vacation even though the hotel is quite comfortable and all I still think that it's better to be out and about if there is a chance I mean this is just nature nature is good okay it just brought me here I really wish that I could convey how beautiful the scent of course is yeah but well I'm back here and 
like I know that it will start raining soon again so I don't want to go too far away from a hotel because like this is the only other piece of clothing that I have so I have to keep it dry <laughs> uh -huh. so while I'm here I decided that I might as well do some exercises I hope I won't get killed while I'm standing here it's impossible to record myself when I'm actually doing something so right now I'm just standing still I am so curious about this abandoned building this little gate to it as well but it's locked so I cannot come up and look what this is about I guess that was one of the facilities of that old factory that produced ammunition yesterday I turned right to this little path today I want to go straight and see if there's anything interesting there well the orange trail would be walking here and I probably will walk there but I want to see what's there because the dirtier the path is the more willing I I am to walk it I see trailer houses so this path is going to the trailer houses and I don't want to go there there is another path so I'm going to walk it interesting some time ago this was a house I suppose I love the abundance of gorse the scent is so miraculous interesting everywhere you go you see a fairy houses in this place so there is one I see there's another one and another one. Diva stairs. Who loves walking stairs like that? I love. Even though I know that it's much easier to walk this little path than the stairs. I still love like how they look in the window. So I'm going up and I want to see what's up there. Well, there isn't much happening here, just a couple of benches, some houses, and a coast guard. And a cleaner path we're leading down. Another little fairy house. And this one has a cat. Oh, it's a pretty. I adore this area. This is called Duck Pond, I think. I think it's Duck Pond. It's so pretty. What can be better than an early, fresh morning? Nothing. <laughs> morning hours are the best. It's not that early, I would have preferred it earlier, but the hotel has breakfast only started from 7 a.m. So, like, I probably could have requested it earlier, but I really didn't want to inconvenience anyone because, like, this is not that important. Well, anyway, I'm going to a forest. Our club has a really nice how is this called like this is not city skyline it's just town skyline and that church that is always locked up unfortunately our close to celebrate Christmas in April this is the main street as far as I know and everything closed yet but honestly like yesterday when I was walking in the rain it was about half past ten everything was closed 
back then too so I'm not sure when everything opens 11 by the way church bell by the way I just realized that this street was closed for the past two days and now it's reopened this is a real real small park it's called St. Mary's Park and as far as I understand this used to be graveyard right this used to be the graveyard look at all these graves wow it's slippery I'm glad I didn't fall <laughs> yeah that's all I saw don't walk on the graves Oh my, it's a little bit littered, but like I think that almost every town in Ireland have this kind of society that cleans up some pieces of town at some point, like there is tidy Tidy towns, tidy. Don't remember. I know that it's that part of the name is tidy. So there is tidy Bray Society, tidy Greystone Society. I saw a couple of boards here about clean society. So I suppose that there is another society too. And this little fountain will be cleaned at some point. But it's a shame that it's littered right now just a little bit more of the main street and you can see that that small part of the road is still closed so they were repairing something but i don't see it here but this part was closed as well but you obviously can see that the repairs were done here library i love libraries but this is kind of a modern library is it the best library building i saw in ireland is in Greystones. It's in Greystones. No, not Greystones. Um, any scary. In any scary. I need to visit any scary for my vlog. That town is very precious. This is Saint Mary's and Peter's Church. I visited it uh, the day before yesterday. It's really nice. This little shop, Bed and pet supplies it doesn't look too prosperous it suddenly got so noisy that I couldn't finish my thought so that little shop doesn't look really prosperous but it is the shop that donated for that puppy park that I visited uh, the day before yesterday what was it yesterday? no, the day before yesterday so I'm curious, like, is there maybe uh, a more recent shop and that's just like a historical site of this shop? I wonder. This is someone's backyard, but the view, the view from here is amazing. Sorry whoever lives here, but I just had to take this video. This is just... Gorgeous. This is a school, St. John's Senior National School. What I love about it is that it's yellow. Yellow color is the best because it's sunny. Arklo CBS. What's CBS? That building is very curious, but unfortunately, it's situated uh, such a way that I cannot take a good video of it. I think that's part of this Arkelo CPS. I will look this up because I don't know what this is. As always, when you don't know where you should be going, I don't know where you should be going. Should I be going here? This place with the gate? But it's kind of a path through. So maybe I. Maybe this is the right way. 
beautiful flowers. Yes, I checked with the map and this is the right way to go. I just was surprised that there was a gate. This is Traverse Insurances Park, the home of Arklo Town. I think that's Football Club FC, right? Let's see, the gate is open. Eh, there's no one here, just me. Nice. I mean, there is probably someone here because the gate is open, so someone has came in. This is another gate over football club, but just what I love is the foggy, foggy scenery. There is some mountains over there. Just love it. But yeah, I'm continuing my way and I think that I will be at my destination soon. At this point, the proper road has ended. It's ended over there. And I think that there are still houses around this place. Wait, I see a fence there. Is this area closed? Why is everything closed when I'm here? So there are some new houses being built. And I wonder if does this, does this mean that the forest is no longer? So it's still marked on the map. So I'm going there. Alrighty, so I have arrived. And there's something that I don't really like. This cleared area. I suspect that new houses are going to be built here. And I mean, this is good because the housing crisis is real, real in Ireland. But then you have so many abandoned houses. And instead of developing debt, we are just clearing up forests. I don't like it. But anyway, beautiful flowers. I mean, this is just an ordinary forest, so nothing too fascinating should be expected here. It's dirty as always because it was raining, so that's natural. So I'm just going to enjoy myself here. Something smells so nice here, but I don't see any flowers. Is this it? I'm not sure, could be. Something smells really nice. Oh, that's that tree. I see the culprit. Here it is. Suddenly, after these kind of roads, there is a, well, it used to be proper road, proper pathway so like I'm going to walk this way but I just noticed that over there there is a, probably a house or something yes I see there are houses over there so this forest is really small it is not too bad because I need to come back to my hotel soon to check out but still, I'm a little bit disappointed. This forest is not too big as it is, and it's been cleared out. So that's really, really sad. And there is also some barbed wire, and I don't just don't get it what this is all about because you can enter this area freely because this kind of fence ended here. I just, I really don't get this place. I mean, as any forest, this place is still pleasant because there are birds and everything. It's greenery. It's really nice. So, I just feel that I'm unfair that I'm com complaining. But, you know, you always strive for the best. I love this unfinished gazebo. <laughs> I wonder if... Like, you know, sometimes there are uh, summer camps for children and I wonder if they actually 
work on this gazebo to make it with the branches. I see branches over there to work it um, to make it more appropriate. That would be a nice idea. I think that there is M um, eleven in that direction because it's too noisy with cars. But I found a nice bridge. The bridge is always nice and it's not covered with anything that would make it not as slippery so I'm very careful here like usually bridges like this would be covered with uh, some kind of metallic wire so that when you step on it your shoes would kind of catch up on those wires but not in this case I don't know where I'm going to be honest but I have some time so I'm going to go anyway another bridge and uh, well, as far as I can see I am back to this house it's, a, it's not actually a house it's some kind of um, I don't know industrial property I think so well I'm back here but from the other side and I don't want to proceed any further in that direction so I'm going back I love it when nature creates this kind of I don't really know how to call them like uh, there is a small small river like uh, uh, it's not a river a stream that would be going through this grove and then there is um, I don't know a cliff <laughs> it's not really a cliff <laughs> I don't have any words but anyway I love this and well I'm going back I don't, I don't know what else to do. Maybe I will find something else interesting. And like, I don't want to to commit myself to something time-consuming because I have to go. I have to go back very soon. So upon my arrival, I went to this little pathway instead of this large road. And there's actually a sign that Arklo Heritage Nature Walks should go that way so well i thought that i would come out to this road anyway but well, i didn't so i'm going to go this road now and see anything interesting here so i'm walking 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 and i think that this road goes over the m11 so we are going to see M11 from a lot soon. Yep, this is M11 and we are about... Well, I say we, I mean I am above it. And now I understand that this forest actually continues behind, beyond M11. Uh, well, I don't have much time, so I don't know. Should I be walking here? Should I be going here? Or should I just go back? Mm. This road leads downhill. You know what it means? That it will go uphill when I will be going back. Oh. I mean, this is all very good, but this whole area is fenced up, it seems. I find it quite boring. Oh, there's a person with a dog. I started feeling it a bit lonely because usually there would be quite a few people in a place like this. Oh no, the fencing ends right there. So this is good. I don't really know what happened, but this area suddenly started being so peaceful. I even slowed down. I don't really know why. I just I even breathe differently okay this is so nice so so nice i'm so glad that i didn't just come back to the hotel that i decided to explore where that road would lead those uh yellow plastic things uh, they are for new baby trees so hopefully this area will have more trees at one point this area is definitely one of my favorite now there is a river down there 
I can actually see it even. I'm not sure that it's visible on the video, but there is a river. I can even see it. And like the only problem with this is that all this time this road goes downhill. So I will be struggling going back. This sign is fascinating. It's something like you would see you would see in a in a not necessarily a horror game but a game with a quest. Access forbidden no ability will be accepted. What is this about? Dangerous Oh, there is dangerous bridge. Okay. Um, no, well, I don't know. Should I be <laughs> should I be going there or should I just retreat? We'll see. Okay. Is this bridge dangerous? I don't know. I just met two guys, and one of them had a um, suitcase with him. A suitcase kind of not a suitcase for clothes but a suitcase for some kind of equipment so I'm really feeling like I'm in a game right now yeah so I don't know like this bridge looks pretty sturdy to me I think that that sign was for an old bridge and this old pillars probably There's, there is a river it is a little bit shaky like you know if I was a little bit heavier it would um, kind of you would feel it going under my weight okay so now I'm, I'm feeling like I'm in a game about some kind of Apocalypse with the metal bridge with a guy with the metal suitcase and everything. I love how foggy it is. These trees, these flowers, they just drive me crazy. They smell so so good. I don't know what this tree is. I don't know. I think I knew at some point, well, I think that I know how it's called in Russian, but I have no idea how it's called in English. Anyway, it smells so good. Okay, I think that at this, at this point it would be fair for me to go back, because it's almost nine. I need to go back, I need to have something to eat, to drink, check out and everything, so... I think that's a good idea to go back, especially because I'm going to walk uphill all this way. Okay, and now all this way up, up, up. <sighs> Wish me luck. It wasn't too hard. I was worried for nothing. I mean, my breath is, my breath is heavy, but that's to be expected. Yay! And I am back here. I can't believe how not difficult it was, so I'm either underestimated myself or I overestimated the hill, but I'm good. This continues to feel like some kind of apocalypse game, like this is definitely Fallout 4. If it wasn't for the car noises, but like <laughs> that is definitely an apocalypse game. I love it. I'm walking back to the hotel and just and I just had a thought. This town has a lot of art pieces uh, plopped around the town, so I thought that definitely this town has to have an art gallery, and it has three, but they all have such weird opening times. Like one art gallery open just like one day a week. This is so weird. Like I don't, I don't understand. The sun is a little bit higher now, and it's it, it, less foggy. And look how the view had changed. 
but also like something that I would wanted to know just for myself really like I don't even like team games like I don't I just I don't like them but these open fields where people would be playing football or something they just fascinate me I love it so much and there's a person working really hard yes it's called Arklo Tiny Towns I just noticed this nice crochet on the St. Mary's Park Rail really really didn't expect the rainbow for this one crossing to see in Arklo Jones Swan Diamond Studio Arklo photo and framing Victorian tea times. This is open. This is the local surgery, and the building is really, really nice, really beautiful. And so I'm going home. I'm just spending the last hours in our club. That's the whole of the building. <laughs> to do something for two hours and my backpack is too heavy so I just want to sit honestly sit and read a book the river cafe is open today should I try it? I've been stunned or bitten for something and I wonder if this is this friend who is very eager to read a book about about uh, big questions and brief answers well he's gone that friend no he's still here well the view is much better i am almost at the train station now so soon i'm going to be home i miss my home Marble Hall, Marlboro, like cigarettes. So here I am, where I started my journey from, and it was a pleasant holiday, even though it was raining yesterday, so it kind of spoiled my plans a little bit, but still, it was good. And now, because this is my first time. I use an Everwell station as the outward station, so I will have to figure out how to actually validate my ticket.